Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Becca J time! Okay, today's products. It's going to be my first time to really be serious about a contour and highlight. And not the sparkly kind of highlight. I'm talking like all the stuff that I see other people do. So we're going to try the NYX Wonder Sticks. <laughs> Uh, highlight and contour stick. This one is in light medium. I'm pretty nervous because I have not done this before. I think one of the palettes I bought had like um, a contour powder and I kind of tried to play with it and it was a disaster. Okay, first... Let me put my foundation on. My eyes are done, but let me do my makeup. And I'm just using a liquid, the Naked Skin. Okay, so I had the foundation on, no powder, no nothing. Now we can... Dogs are barking. Barking, barking, barking. Okay, now we can move along. We're going to unwrap it. I'm really nervous. I actually had to watch a video on how to use this because the box, it's got like little tiny, it's right here. And I couldn't tell, I was like, I don't look any different, hardly. <sighs> so I watched a video. Mine got smashed. Contour side. And highlight side. Hopefully, smells weird. Hopefully, it'll be a good match for my skin. Okay, so first, here we go, you guys. My first attempt ever <laughs> to highlight, to contour, contour. We're contouring. Somebody hit me. Okay, so I'm going to take a brush because I am new. I have really high cheekbones. So there. And then it should not come in more than two fingers. I think. Is it's too high, huh? It's okay. Okay. I did that. This is actually very creamy. Very, well, of course, it's a cream, right? I hope I'm doing that right. <laughs> I don't know. They say along here. Hopefully it's my color. Okay. That's it, right? Is that all the spots? Oh, they do it like right here. Ooh, mine bent. I guess I'm being too, uh, too firm. Okay, this is another thing I haven't done. Okay, so I guess it goes down the middle of the nose, up the forehead, <laughs> here, 
there, there, a little here, right, you guys? Somebody help me. Now this is my fear, because I'm like, I'm too old to do this. I don't know. Maybe I'm not. Did I do that right? Okay, I'm going to put the lids back on because I always forget to do that. I don't know, you guys. I think I could go to the store just like this and be like, What's up? I need my Dr. Pippa. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to use my damp beauty blender. Moment of truth. Here we go. Man, that stuff sits into the pores. Okay, I have to say though, for it being my first time and a complete newbie, um, I'm actually really glad this is blending because otherwise I wouldn't know what to do. Okay, so I still think I did triangles wrong. I don't know. I don't know. But everything else is easy to blend out. But up close? I don't know. It's like heavy. You can... It's cakey almost, and I'm not a cakey person. <sighs> What do you think? See a difference? Can you tell I did anything? Because I can't. I don't know. I can tell where that highlight was and I can tell up close because what it, how it sits on my skin. It's real heavy. I forgot something. I have one half nose, but not the other half. Okay. Let's blend. Blend, blend for your life. I'm going to take a smaller brush. Now what do you think? I contoured! Okay, so let's finish this off. Let's add a little bit of blush, a lot of highlighter, and see how I did. I still feel this right here is awkward. Uh, 
Okay, we need some highlights. Yeah. Got some highlight on that nose. I don't know. Do I set this? It's cream powder. Do I set it with a, a I mean, it's not cream powder. It's, I didn't set anything. What am I supposed to do now? What do I do? Go for it? So once it's all set, it actually doesn't look that bad on my face. It looked cakey earlier. Oh, I have a little piece of skin hanging off. Um, well, it is, it seems real heavy here, and of course here, it's pretty heavy. Oh, uh, it's obvious I have contour and highlight, but it changes, like, my whole face. Wait, 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 wait. I don't have any glasses on. Hold up. See, I see this little piece of skin hanging off right here. It's driving me crazy. But see, when you look up close, there we go. When when you look up close, you can tell. I mean, it's it's heavy. Like I said, right here, that highlight, the cream highlight. Is very heavy, very cakey. I like the contour part of it though, because that's real light. It seemed to blend well, especially for my first time. Got it. Got that little tiny piece of skin. I'll use it. Again, I don't know if I'll be using that highlighter stick because it just, well, I mean, look at it up close. Everywhere, look at my nose. And there. So, I mean, it looks good maybe in pictures or from a distance, like if I was all... trying to be pretty or something but if you were to actually be sitting here with me I mean I have cake face I really do um, the high the highlighter is the cake face the contour I'm looking at it actually blended really well up close it's a lot smoother. It's even. I like it. This was a fun experience for my very first time because I had not tried. I have like so much static right now. The static is killing me, you guys. I hadn't tried contour and highlight stuff like that before. So I think this, for my first time, was a good thing. You know, it wasn't very expensive. Um... It was fun to play with. I now know what to look for like when I want to maybe try something else. I'll understand some of what the reviews are saying about how heavy or cakey or how it sinks into the pores or how fast or slow you can move because this you can move pretty slow. Um, that's what I liked. Um, the contour, definitely like on the contour part. This highlighter, the I, 
it's not that it's the wrong color it's just how it sits on my face it's just cake cake face I'm pancake cake face yes but it was a good place for me to start and to try to learn and now I can gradually move up in budgets and try what I like or even I don't know is there powder there's powder contour stuff I know but I don't I don't know that's what I'm saying is I don't know but now I know just a little bit more and that will help me in the long run okay if you have it you want it you love it you hate it you tried it you didn't want to try it but you're forced to watch this video um, let me know leave me a comment down below give me some hints or tips um, suggestions on a different thing I do like a lighter contour I'm seeing that um, than a heavier or more contrasting contour so maybe give me some ideas on what else I could try because I'm lost in this great big space of the makeup world when it comes to contour okay well I will put the link down below to where I got mine and you can get one too if you want I don't know that is my thesis of the day I don't know I graduate not knowing there you go <laughs> Bye. Good job, Mom. Don't forget, click, click, like, subscribe.